exoskeletons is the coming physical revolution. So an exoskeleton is a wearable device that's completely independent, like a backpack that stays on you, and it provides some sort of a physical uh, assistance or resistance between one or more joints of the human body. So the theory behind exoskeletons is more than 120 years old at this point. There are patterns that go way back. Where exoskeletons are used right now is primarily in manufacturing, anything that has repetitive tasks in a controlled environment, and similarly in physical rehabilitation settings where, again, you have a controlled environment where you're trying to get people to repeat the same motion over and over again. You're mixing business with psychology, with engineering, and with biomechanics, with a touch of anthropology, history, and sociology. And you're trying to combine all of that and call it an exoskeleton industry or an exoskeleton market. And that's tough. That is, that is difficult to absorb. And fundamentally, that makes this field so challenging that this is an interdisciplinary field. There's no question that fantasy, including Hollywood movies and books, always drive innovation. So it's a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you want to have fantasy devices that really challenge human imagination, but on the other hand, then you have to explain what is real and what is possible. The best way to think of it is uh, if you've seen vehicles only in James Bond movies or Fast and the Furious franchise, you expect them to fly, you expect them to go in space, shoot missiles, and that is not what real vehicles and real cars are capable of doing. Similarly, with exoskeleton technology, we've seen exoskeletons that fly, exoskeletons that provide superhuman strength or bounce off bullets and laser beams, and that is not what the technology will be able to do for decades to come but it doesn't mean that they're useless. Exoskeletons can change the world. Exoskeletons can change how we perceive work and aging and physical rehabilitation, but none of this is going to happen if people don't know that they exist and the technology is here and it extends beyond science fiction. And that's what the exoskeleton report is trying to change.